Hey everyone, Eric here. And in this week's video, we're going to go beyond desktop to compare how SketchUp and Layout set up pages for exporting models to scale for printing. So as you already know, SketchUp works in real world units, which means that one unit, is, let's just say feet because I use Imperial mostly, so one foot in the model is one foot in real life. So that's great for modeling because you don't have to convert it in your head as you would if you were drawing on paper using a scale where you have to actually convert the real world units down to a scale. But ultimately, or not ultimately, but often we need to take our models and then also print them, whether they're going to boards for presenting to the client or whether they're gonna be printed on paper so that we can sketch over, like if it's a loose concept. So being able to know the difference is on how SketchUp and Layout set up pages for exporting and the advantages and disadvantages of each. That's what we're going to do today. So stay with me. It's going to be fun. Let's get to it. OK, so as you can see, I've got a park model for reference. It's the model is not the important part here. This is uh, just so that I have something that I can print to scale for this example. So I'm going to switch over to my plan view because let's just say I want to print this plan because I'm going to draw over the top or maybe I'm redesigning part of the park. Uh, so what I want to do here, let's just pretend I'm going to print this straight from SketchUp, but I want it to scale. Now, I know that people do this and they may not be familiar with the layout process. So I want to do this really quickly first to show you what it does, how it works, and then I want to compare it to layout. So and then, of course, if some of you didn't know you can do this, it might be helpful. I've got some options here for printing in my file menu. Maybe it look a little bit different if you're on PC than Mac. So just kind of understand that. I'm going to first go into my page setup. I'm just going to double check my page. I want to make sure that I'm working on, in this case, US letter, because that's the size of my printer. Click OK. And then what I want to do is think about this in document setup. But first, because I've done this before, I'm going to shift my model over just a little bit, because what it's going to do is it's going to print from when it prints, it's going to think of this left hand side as like the start of your page. So if my model was over here, I can already tell you it's going to make cutoff. So I'm going to go ahead and position my model sort of to the left a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way over there. And then I'm going to go up here to document setup. So document setup is where we get to decide what the scale is going to be. So I know when I say fit view to page, what happens is, is that we don't have a scale anymore because it says one inch equals 53 feet. That's not a proper scale. But it gives you a clue by clicking this. It gives you a clue as to what this scale fits at this page. So what scale will fit this page setup? It's trying to fit the entire width of my model within that 11 inch uh, page width. So that's what it's doing right now. It's not accounting for height. It's counting for width. But I've got all this white space. So in this case, I might push this up to something like eight inches because I want to stay within my eight and a half by five inch, uh, eight and a half by 11 inch letter. And then it changes the scale here. It says, well, that's going to print it at one inch equals 33 feet. Again, not a real scale. So I'm going back and forth here to figure out what scale is going to fit my 11 by 17 best. I'm going to type in one inch equals 40 feet. I'm going to split the difference between that 50 and that 30. Um, and I'm going to assume that that's going to get me close. Now, remember, I said I'm going to assume because there's no preview. There's no print preview or anything here. They'll give me one over here. I'm going to pop open over to print now that I've done both page and document setup. I'm going to pop over to print. And this is where I get the print preview box. So the challenge with this is you almost have to like know what you're doing in advance. And then if you do it right, you're going to get the preview that says, yes, you did it right. But we're not doing that preview in real time. So if I made a mistake, I'd have to go back and do document setup again. I'm going to go ahead and it's also making me do two pages because you can see this white space over here doesn't fit. It's bleeding over to the next page. In this case, I actually have to tell it, nope, I don't want that second page. Save as a PDF, save it to my desktop. I'm going to call this 40 scale just for fun. And I'm going to say from SketchUp because I'm going to compare this in just a second to layout. So let's go ahead and say save that. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So here's my here's where it's saved onto my desktop. I'm going to double click that. And you can see there it is. If I double check the view, it says actual size. So actual size means this is the size it's going to print on the paper. And, you know, not bad. So it worked. But let's go ahead and do this what I think is the better way. So those that aren't using layout, again, we're going beyond desktop. We're going into layout. So I'm going to pop over here. I'm going to take the same model. I'm just going to say send it to layout. It's going to ask me to save it first. If I didn't do that already, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to come back over here and say send to layout. 
doesn't really matter the page. Well, actually, it does matter the page size. I just said that I'm going to be doing a letter landscape. So I want to use that again. I've got my, I've got it positioned. I, I can position it anywhere I want on this page here just by using, adjusting my viewport and dragging it around. In this case, I want that better centered. Now from here, I want to make sure that firstly, ortho, I'm in ortho view. I am, I'm in top view, yes. And again, I can switch very quickly between scales. The big advantage here compared to what we just did in SketchUp is if I want to see what fits on one inch equals 30, that's again, I've sort of did a scale bust. I'm a little too close, to maybe here to my margins. And then if I wanted to go to one inch equals 50, I can see that's a little too small. Got a lot of white space. It's going to make me make my drawing uh, smaller than I want it to be. So I come over here, find that sweet spot. Again, now I've got this at one inch equals 40 feet. So before I do my export, I want to open up that one one more time. And I want to view, this is viewing actual pixels, but let's just say for some reason I needed to do an enlargement. If you zoom in, you're going to look and you're going to get some pixelation. It's because I printed it to scale. But the other advantage of working with layout is not only can I, can I see the real-time preview and position it on the page and adjust the scale quickly and easily, but I can also adjust the line weights. So in this case, if I wanted to zoom in, I wanted to say, actually, I want to thicken up my lines. I can do that here, see what that looks like. That's maybe a little too thick. I'm going to pop back over to 0.6. The other thing I can do is come over here and switch from raster mode to hybrid. And hybrid is something that I like to use if I'm going to be wanting to keep the textures in my model. In this case, I've got some really nice wood textures and I've got some grass textures. But this time now, that hybrid gives me vector edges, something that I couldn't get when I exported straight from SketchUp. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to come up here, File. In this case, I'm not printing and not doing that because I'm exporting. I've already done the scaling now. I'm just going to export it as a PDF. Here, I'm going to make sure that I'm a PDF, double check my options. If I want to bump up my resolution for my textures, I'll go to High and click OK. And I'm going to save this. This time, I'm going to say 40 scale. And I'm going to say From LO for Layout and click Save. So let's pop back over here. I've got two now, one from SketchUp, one from Layout. I'm going to go ahead and open up that Layout one. In fact, I'm going to do that again because I want to, I want to pop it into the same window that I have here. So I've already got my, this is the one from SketchUp. I'm going to take my Layout one. I'm going to pop that in here and that way we can compare them quickly. So here we go. Here's the SketchUp. Looks pretty good at a distance. Here's Layout. Looks all right at a distance. Again, when we zoom in now, We've got some nice clean vector lines that I really like that's going to allow me to print this at a different scale or enlar do enlargements if I wanted to. And if I compare that to my SketchUp, of course, going straight from SketchUp, I'm going to get that rasterization. I don't have that choice. So I'm going to zoom back out here. You can see we can do it both ways, but one way definitely has a lot more advantage. So that's it for this quick tip. Hope you learned something new in this video. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I read the comments. I'll reply to them. We can keep the conversation going on there. Also, I want to do one more plug. This model that I used here, this is Tanner Springs Park in Portland, Oregon, I used as an example. This came straight from a live stream that we did. For those that don't know, we live stream modeling uh, every Friday at noon mountain time. So beyond these little quick 10-minute tips and tricks, make sure to come back and check us out there where you can get even more information and also join in the conversation real time. So hope to see you back here at our next video and hope to see you there live with us at our next stream. And uh, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Have a great day.